And this next one is a favorite of mine, the woolly mammoth. That's right. And it's an ancestor to the elephant. And it starts with a couple of shapes, circles actually. One right here for his head, and one over here, a big circle like an oval over here. It's a little like drawing a regular elephant with a couple extra surprises, and we'll put them in in a moment. Now, I'm going to pencil in a little bit more, actually. I'm going to put in his tusks, and that's what really separates him from a common elephant. Now, watch this. All the way out here, do you know his tusks were actually 16 feet long? That's right. And here's his trunk, and let's put some legs in there, too, while we're at it. 16 feet long his tusk grew to be. That's amazing. Okay, now we've got enough laid down to start inking this fellow in. Okay, now first thing I'm going to draw is this tusk right here because it is the closest thing to us. Comes all the way out, have some fun with it, get your whole wrist into it, because you know what? I don't think it's even being exaggerated that much. That's pretty much what it looked like. And it comes to his cheek, put some hair there. Now we're going to put his trunk in. Now that's the next thing behind that tusk. And it comes back, come back, up, and a smile. Look at that. And here's his mouth and his lower lip. Put some detail on that trunk. You know, I always think that the dinosaurs that ate plants and the woolly mammoth ate plants were friendly guys. So let's give him friendly eyes looking at us. Maybe even a little sleepy. Not like T-Rex who ate meat. <laughs> now let's put the other tusk in right over here. And that's behind, so I'm stopping there, continuing on, come all the way around, and I'm going to bypass it again on the other side, and let's see, continue this line, come back around, and look at that. Is that cool? Now, if the light is hitting from up top, this would be casting a little bit of a shadow, and same thing over here, and that makes it look like it's the one behind. Same thing with underneath his trunk here, see, it would be... A shadow be being cast from that tusk. Now let's put his ears in, just like regular elephants. A little detail inside, some hairs on top, and then the other side of his face, and maybe his other ear is peeking out like that. All right, now we're going to define this shape a little bit, go over that oval, come around, and stop about there, because we're going to put a lot of hair on in a moment. Now let's put his legs in. Come down. And you've got to make it wider at the bottom so it looks like it's supporting this big fella. Just like that. That's one leg. The other one's in the back so it makes it a little bit smaller because it's seen in perspective. The one in the foreground, again, down to here and up. And then this one here, same as the other one. Now, let's put some shadowing, shadowing on this one here, some shading. Because that's the one seen behind. Let's put some toes on it. Cool. All right, now, some hair. Now, this is where he gets his name, the Woolly Mammoth. Some bold strokes here. Let your marker work for you. All the way back like that. Some funny ones coming up front, up top, all over. And now his tail. Up and around. It looks like a paintbrush. And you double that line a little bit. And a big shadow coming from this guy. And let's go crisscrossing those lines a little bit, make it look a little bit more like hair. And a couple over there. And there he is, Wally the Woolly Mammoth. Let's erase the pencil lines now. Now I'll tell you something very interesting about the Woolly Mammoth. Do you know that, well, he lived over 10,000 years ago, but do you want to hear something interesting? They actually found a few woolly mammoths intact. That's right. And you know why? Because they fell into a glacier. And they were preserved, and they still looked great. Their hair was intact, and they were able to examine it. I think that's a pretty cool story. Imagine finding a real dinosaur, not just the bones. Use a little bit of tan, because he was tan. Elephants of today are gray. Now, we're going to use a little bit of dark brown for the hair. Now, watch this. 
getting some bold strokes. A couple up there, top, and for his tail. And how about some green for where he's standing? As I said, he was a, a plant eater. And a pretty cool animal with that, a little blue for the sky. And there he is, Wally the Woolly Mammoth.